John, I got us this new apartment. Huh? Huh? But but there's nothing here. There's like no furniture. I can't even sit on anything. This place is just empty. All I see is just white walls. That's it. That's that's the only thing I see here. But Sean, this is the perfect place for you to train your dog. It's a very nice place. I say so myself. Very nice walls. Very clean. Nice and perfect. Where am I gonna sleep? Where am I gonna work? I, I have nowhere to work. This is this is this is just this is it. This is all. Uh, like I don't know where to go. Don't worry, guys. We've got you covered. We'll have this place ready for you in no time. There'll be furniture, a nice living room, and a nice living space for both of you. So off you go. All right. We leave it in your hands. You heard those boys, Tam. You're gonna need to spruce this place up. There's like nothing here. You've got your work cut out for you. Good luck. I'm gonna go do what I do best. Relax. Hi everybody, so today's video is another DIY. I'm not like the most amazing crafter. I'm kind of a wing it type person. We're gonna create a nice scene here for Sean and his brother because they don't have a living room and they basically don't have a living space. I went to the dollar store and I also went to Michael's and I found a couple things. I'm gonna show them to you and we're gonna make a nice living space. Really simple, really easy. If I can do it, you can do it. So let's get started. In here I got these items from the dollar store. So I'll show you guys what I got. So first up, I got these letter tiles. You're probably wondering, why are you gonna use this? Have an idea for this for the boys' living room. I also got two of these shelves and I'll give you the reason why I bought two later. They're made out of wood. The door's open, so that's really cute. I also got this plant and it's always nice to have some greenery in a home. So I got this as well. And lastly, I got this natural burlap tape. It's a really neat texture and I have an idea for this and hopefully it works. In here, I got these items. Hi, Michaels. So first up, I got a couple of pieces of this craft balm. I got two of these and I got a thinner piece. We're gonna be making furniture out of these. This piece is a little bit thinner than these other two. I'll show you guys so you can see the width difference. I also got some of these felt pieces. This one's like a beige and then some gray. I have a couple more pieces of these, but this will also be for the furniture we're gonna build. I bought this bag full of different pieces of wood, solid wood Whittler's kit. I've used them over the year, and so that's why the bag is open. It's really useful, there's all these different pieces. You'd be amazed how just pieces of wood you can create furniture or different items in a home for your dolls. I also bought this wooden box. Got a lid and I thought, okay, this might be really useful. Really nice piece. Simple, but quite beautiful. And lastly, I got these cute little plants. Just really like them. It's got like a white holder. All right guys, so we're gonna be painting a lot of these wood pieces. I've chosen white. White's my favorite, but don't worry. It's all gonna come together once all these pieces are painted. Let's get painting.
piece of furniture we're gonna put together is a table. So you take the three blocks that you painted, and then this piece you add on top. There you go, you've got yourself a table. I also got these cards at Michael's. They're miniatures, they're super cute. This is great for a doll's guy pad. You know, playing cards, hanging out with the guys. So this is a great prop to add. Look how small they are, you guys. Fits perfectly in his hand. The guys can play like solitaire or they can play a card game together. So I've got the shelves all painted. I had to do three coats. Now, as you can see, they're a little small. This really works for the, the small Barbie dolls. It's a good size, so you can make a room with the shelf for her. This is kind of a good size for this size doll, kind of medium height. So the idea is I put one shelf on top of the other. So by doubling up the shelves, it's a good height for your Ken dolls and also for your Barbies. When I painted the shelves, I just painted the front of the door so they can't really open anymore. So that's kind of like a quick way to create a shelf for your adult dolls. So there you go. So I've got a couple of Barbie books that I have and we're gonna put them on the shelf as an accessory. I've only got three. I also have a couple of these books from Michaels. They do open up and they do have pages in them. That's really cool. Um, but some of these books are falling, so I do have a little plant I can add to this. So from this bathtub set, it comes with a little plant and it's super cute. Not this one. It's a really cute set that you can add to your collector items, but I'll show you the plant that comes with this. So it's this little guy. It's such a cute little plant. It's like a little panda and it's got some green on the top. So we're going to add that to the shelf and it's going to keep those books up. Like so. That looks really cute. I kind of like the colors. I'm going to show you how to make more books for this bookshelf using these. I've got some acetone here and I'm kind of hoping the acetone will take the, the letters off the blocks. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. It's kind of coming off. It's a bit messy. I mean, you could skip this step because we are going to paint them, but I just didn't want the letters to show through when I'm painting them. Alright guys, so we are done. I think these turned out really good. So now we're just gonna paint just three edges to make it look like book pages. Okay, so I've painted all these pieces just with white here to kind of mimic that these are pages. So I just did the three sides. I left this side blank. And so now we're going to paint the covers to make it like their books. So that's our next step. There you guys go, these turned out pretty good. Wow, I did have to touch up on the bottom a couple of them. Like you can kind of see a little bit, I just touched it up. This was a little bit tricky, but I think so worth it. I mean, look at that, I have a whole bunch of books. And it seems like this color scheme is sticking to blue, green, red, and yellow. So yeah, let's put them on the shelf. So you just kind of stack them like so. And then they would be added on the shelf like this. 
I think I'm gonna add some of them here at the top. Because of the paint, they kind of stick together, no problem. I mean, you could glue them, but I like options uh, that I can take it off, I could change the scene, I could put different things on the shelf. You can choose any color scheme you want. You could have all blue or red. I think I'm gonna organize this. I'm, I don't know, I don't really like the two mixed colors, so let me try that again. Yeah, I like that better. I kind of like this pattern, so I'm going to put them down here. So, so far so good. I like what I'm seeing, but I kind of want to add some more things on this shelf. So to add to the shelf, I got these super cute little miniature pencils. I got these at Michael's. I think they're adorable. They kind of go with the whole color scheme here. And then I went back to the dollar store and I found these little jars. So we're gonna use these for the pencils to put on the shelf. So you just take the lid off and then you just have the jar and then you just put the little pencils in the jar like so. I wanted a smaller jar but this is all they had so I might change this up but for now it's okay. I also cut some little pieces of paper because as you get to know Sean's character more and his brother you're gonna find out that he, he is into things like this. I'm not gonna say too much but you guys might put the pieces together so I'm gonna put that on the shelf. I'm still feeling like this needs to be filled up up and I've got the perfect idea. I want to put a Rubik's Cube in here and the way to get one is toy mini brands right there. Yeah I bought this entire box just for that. I mean there might be some things I would like to put on the shelf but so far that's the only thing that's caught my eye so let's pause and do some unboxing. I really like this box because it kind of shows already what's inside of it. I'm not gonna get doubles. I don't have to guess. I know exactly what's in it because you know the little balls that you get with the toy mini brands they can be pricey and if you're constantly getting doubles you know I don't really need them. So I like this box and I'm I'm excited to get this one! Yay! Okay guys, so this is it. You've got different numbered surprises. It even shows on the bottom some of the surprises and you can kind of see what they are. There's like these little doors you can open. So what do you think? Should we start from beginning to end or should we kind of like mix it up? I'm so excited. So you know what? I'm just gonna jump straight to the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I can hardly contain my excitement. Ah! What? What? Okay, I'm wrong. I thought what you saw is what you were gonna get, but <laughs> nope, I got a Dora microphone. Okay, okay, uh, this is actually kind of fun. Um, let's keep going. Right, I didn't get what I want, so I guess um, we can just do random, guys. What do you think? How about 19? Bob. Okay, that one's not too bad. He's kind of a character that, you know, kids find funny and so do adults. So this could go on Sean's shelf and his brother, but we'll see. All right, how about number five? This is Jojo. It looks like a doll head. I guess it's a toy, like you can decorate her hair. That's kind of neat. Okay, I'm not really getting what I want here. None of these things that I've unboxed are actually really in the pictures here. Oh man, I hope I get my Rubik's Cube and I didn't mess up. Let's continue. It's another SpongeBob. Uh, maybe Sean and his brother could have a collection of SpongeBob. We'll see, we'll see. This, he's holding a rainbow. It's kind of cute. It's all right. Let's try number one. Let's see, number one is always a good number. So hopefully I get something cool in here. <laughs> balloons, bunch of balloons. Okay, it's all right. But you know, I still really want my Rubik's Cube. Come on, come on Rubik's Cube. 
Rubik's Cube. Let's jump to 24, guys. Let's, let's see what's in there. <laughs> what is this? Oh, slime. Okay, it's just a box and it kind of shows you it's slime. That's kind of interesting if you guys are slime fans. Cool, cool, let's keep going. How about number seven? Let's try that one. Oh boy, okay. This is itty bitty pretties. Over 25 surprises included. Not really, just stickers and stuff. It looks like a cup. Not my favorite. Let's keep going. Try not to lose faith here, guys. Try not to lose faith. If I don't get this Rubik's Cube, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> Let's try, hmm. Let's try 22. And it's a Smashes Epic Dino Egg. Hmm, yeah, not really what I wanted. I don't know what I will do, something like this. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep going. Let's try the slime. Let's try the slime picture here. Number 21. I was, I was scared. I, I was getting kind of scared, guys, but I wasn't gonna get it, but oh, I got it. Yes, I'm curious to see if it actually works. I will be taking this out. Um, so cool. Ah! Okay, now free for all. I, that was the thing I was the most interested in. So we're gonna start from here and go all the way down. So 15, hopefully there's more cool stuff. Oh, look at this. Robo alive. Oh, it's a robot lizard. That's not too bad. Kind of cool. Like a blue green with a red eye. It shows pictures of how it works. I think I could work with something like this. Oh, and I guess if you start with the first one, it would kind of show you, you know, the booklet. So these are all the items you can collect. Already got that one. These are the rares. I haven't seen any rares. Um, these are the super rares. The glow in the dark and the metallic. And apparently these are common, like the Rubik's Cube. Whew, thank goodness. Also, markers are also a common thing and Frisbees. I actually wouldn't mind a Frisbee. You know, I could, I could work with that. And and here are all the other things you can collect. They're super small and you guys probably can't even see them, but yeah. All right, number 17. Feeling a good feeling about this one. Yes! <laughs> it's a Frisbee. I was just talking about it. Man, I think my luck is running in here. I probably am gonna unbox this, probably. In. I could add this on Sean and Shane's shelf, so this is cool. And it's red, so it kind of goes with our color scheme. Number nine, come on. Number nine, and what's this? Oh. <laughs> it's SpongeBob again. Okay, I think we're gonna have a collection of SpongeBobs. I'm okay, he's a funny character, I don't mind. He's like in a hamburger car. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Shows you a little picture of him in the car. There's a remote control, but I don't see one in here. So that's kind of cool, guys. Number two. Oh, fingerlings. Yay. Fingerlings are kind of cute. I like this one. I'm okay with this one. It's an actual toy in real life, so I'm digging it. She's pink. So cute. Okay, so we've got a couple more. Number 14. Oh, Rugrats. Okay, he's kind of a cute character with the red hair and the glasses. I can't remember his name. There it says, he's a cool little figurine. So if you guys want dolls for your dolls, he's pretty cool. All right, number 10. What is behind door number 10, folks? Any guesses? What? What is this? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? What? They're one of their weapons? No way, this is so cool. I'm a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, so I am totally digging this. This is, this is cool. This is really, really cool. I mean, you could use this for your Ken dolls if they like martial arts stuff. You guys, you guys. 
Yes, 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 yes. It's red. The handles are like a cream. That is so cool. Whew. Okay, door number 11. Let's see. It's a dinosaur. That's kind of cool, actually. He's brown. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a finger lean. You hold it on your finger. I actually don't mind this at all. This is pretty cool. Totally not in the pictures. <laughs> I totally got this wrong. <laughs> Who cares? Let's keep going. I'll open this door. <gasps> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles again. <laughs> okay. Okay, this looks like Raphael. Yeah, it's got an R and he's got a red bandana. Oh, there's like all of them. Oh man, I hope I get more of these, please. <laughs> I hope I get more of these. This is so cool. It's so tiny. It's like a little miniature figurine. This is so great for the guys, for their place. Yes. Okay, 13, folks. This is a cotton candy. It's like a lollipop. This wouldn't really work for my dolls, but cute prop, but uh, I'm not feeling it. Let's keep going. Number eight. Come on. More Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's, I was about to say Nemo. It's not Nemo. It looks like him, but it's Robo Fish. This could work for Sean and Shane. This is actually kind of cool. Is this open? I think if you undid the plastic here, you might be able to open it. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm just going to leave it as is. This is kind of neat. Totally digging this. Yes. Let's keep going. So I've only got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, come on. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Bunch of balloons. Um, I don't know what he uses for. Yeah, it's like a little handle thing. Hold it, gives you instructions, kind of how to play with it. Yeah, let's just keep going. It's a mini car. They're all machines. It's yellow, a little bit of blue. Not too bad. Pretty cool. I'm okay with this. Not bad. Okay, we're down to the last three, guys. Number four. It's Pets Alive, and it's gold. Is that a rare? I don't know if this is a rare. It doesn't really show in my paper there. It's okay. I mean, I kind of wish it was white, not gold. Two left. Come on, 20. Come on, 20. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it's a potions. Oosh potions. I have no idea what this is. You could maybe take this plastic off and paint it or something and it could be like a bottle in your kitchen for your miniatures. That's an idea. Last one guys. Last one. Is it gonna be cool or not cool? Only one way to find out. I'm hoping it's cool. And it's a rare, I'm guessing because it's gold. It is SpongeBob SquarePants, but it's Patrick. For all you Patrick fans out there, this one comes in gold. It's okay, it kind of goes with the whole SpongeBob theme. So that's it guys, we opened all the boxes. There's not a single one left. That actually was really fun. Uh, <laughs> It's almost a little bit, you, you get so excited, like, I thought it was going to show the pictures and that's what you got, but they took it to another level and I wasn't expecting that, so it kind of made it really, like, fun and exciting. Here it is outside the box, guys. This is the Rubik's Cube. I did try moving it and it's just a block painted to look like a Rubik's Cube, so a little bit disappointed by that. I was kind of hoping it would move and stuff, but pretty cool. Look, it's like the perfect size. It's so cute, oh my god. I'm freaking out here, guys, freaking out. Looks so cool. Total a Ken toy to have on your shop, like I am telling you guys. So we're just gonna add this to the shelf. And maybe we could add this right here to kind of go with the color scheme with the pencils over there. And since I've got some green books up at the top, maybe we could put Raphael up there. <laughs> we can add these on top. Uh, I don't really want to open this yet, so I'm just going to leave it like that. 
And on the bottom, we can add the collection of SpongeBob square pants. All right, guys, you better stand. <laughs> Patrick, he doesn't look too happy. We'll put him in the corner. There, that looks pretty good. So there you guys go. I think our shelf looks pretty, pretty cool. Definitely a guy's shelf, you know, learned, but likes to have fun, creative type personality. I think this looks really good. So let's continue on with the other pieces of furniture that we want to add to their living space. I did add the little character from Rugrats. He kind of goes with the colors with SpongeBob there. So there you guys go. Oh, I get it. The guys get a shelf, but I don't. But what about me? The guys get a Rubik's Cube, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not to mention SpongeBob. Come on, Tim. When do I get a shelf? I like reading books. I'm fun. I like art. Why didn't I get the shelf? Come on, Barbie. It's important to think of others and not just yourself. Remember, this is for Sean and Shane. You'll get your turn, but today it's their day. <sighs> you're right, Tam. For the track record, I hate it when you're right. Fine. This is a pretty cool shelf. Those lucky ducks. A while back, I made this couch. It was from a YouTube tutorial by My Froggy Stuff. It's a great video. I highly recommend it. She's like the craft queen for miniatures. What she used was these fashion packs. This is what the fashion packs used to come in, these boxes, and she would create furniture with these. These are no longer available. So I was kind of like, well, what do I use now to create furniture? So that's when the idea of the foam pieces came to mind. And I thought, well, they've got a similar shape. I could cut them to size and then build, you know, a piece of furniture with them. Okay, guys, so here's our foam piece. You're going to take your doll and you're just going to lean him so that his knees or her knees are about here, comes to the edge. So this is going to be the base of the armchair. I'm thinking to leave a space here. I don't even know if that's a good idea or not. Like I said, I'm a wing it, so hopefully this works out. I'm using my ruler just to make a straight line. I'm just gonna measure to make sure it's the same. So then we're going to cut this line with, I have a small little saw. Pretty easy to saw foam pieces. So there we've got our one piece. We need two more pieces. Next, these are for the armrests. The length we're gonna go from here to here. And I think I want the armrest about that height. I think it'll be like that. I think that should be about there in terms of height. So I think that looks okay. This is my first time making an armchair. So just using the seating block to line it up. And I'm just making a marking here. So I don't want the armrest to come all the way to the end of the seating area, so I kind of left uh, just a space there. I'm just measuring to see if it's all the same. I'm a bit off. No, oh, that looks really good. So I found a knife and I've got a wood board here and I'm going to push right through. Careful, this is sharp. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same piece to measure the next piece because I need two armrests. I'm gonna use the edge here. Take your pencil and just make a marking. So we've got our 
two pieces. Okay, so just so you guys can get the vision of this, this is the base. These are the armrests. So these would be pushed back right to the edge here of the bottom seat. You guys starting to see the vision here? Huh? Huh? And then all we need is a back piece. So we probably would measure here. We don't need it to be all the way at the top here against his neck. I don't think any sitting chair is that high, so we'll probably have it maybe come up to here. So I'll just put a marking there. Okay, so that's my marking. That's kind of where Shane's shoulder was, I believe. Mark here. So I'll be cutting here. Cut with our knife here to make the back piece. That looks pretty good guys. I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to cover these pieces with this felt.
Okay, so as you can see, since he's a Ken doll, his legs are pretty long and I'm thinking we need to create some height in this chair. To do that, we're going to use the lids from those jars we bought from the dollar store and that's going to give him more height. As you can see, that is a big improvement. He's higher, his legs look more comfortable. We're going to glue gun these lids on the bottom. So that looks much better. He looks more comfortable, more leg room, and the chair actually moves around and swivels quite smoothly with those lids on. So I also decided to do the same thing on, on the couch. I glue gun them, so that looks really good. There's a nice space underneath the couch, and when I place my Ken doll, there's more room for his legs to stretch. So yeah, awesome. This worked out really well. So here it is, it turned out pretty good. This was fairly simple. I put this strip to hide the raw edge here. I like how it's the foam is white on the top. You could glue gun some fake moss on the top here, but I like the white. And then you simply just push the plant in, like so, and bend the leaves so it balances well. There you go, that's an easy way to create a plant. So with that, we are done, guys. Barbie, I need you. Yes? I think I'm gonna need your help. Fine. Come on. I am not cut out for this. I'm wearing a dress. Damn! Can I just relax here? You know, I'm better at relaxing. Barbie, come on. We gotta get this place ready. Come on. Fine. Okay, yeah, a little to the left. Further back there, Barbie. Oh, this is comfy. I could totally get used to this. It's not your chair, Barbie. Come on, focus. Oh, all right, just give me five minutes. Okay, that's all I can do, Tam. Like, that was a workout. Now can I do the fun part? The big reveal. That's the best part. Yeah, Barbie, go show Sean and Shane in and we'll give them the big surprise. Woohoo! Ta-da! What do you guys think? Isn't it awesome? I know, I know. You're like, you're speechless. It's okay. I get it, I get it. Oh my goodness, look at this place. Look at all the, everything, I speechless. Yep, this looks very good. You've got a couch, you've got a table, and a shelf. Thank you very much, this is awesome. You guys can relax here, chill out, total guy pad. This is the best place ever. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of this, Barbie. I appreciate it so much.